So there you go, guys. Well, now I'm up to the section which is core tip number two of the book. This is tip number two of 101. So those people who watched the first through the second session, this is session number three. So make sure you keep the contact information for credit bureaus handy. All right. The three major credit bureaus are important to contact. If you are going to be repairing your credit score, the major three credit agencies can help you by sending you your credit report. Basically for free. If you find an error on your credit report, these are also the companies you must contact in order to correct the problem. You can easily contact these organizations by mail, telephone, or through the internet. The first one, Equifax, Credit Information Services, Inc. Guys, make sure you have a pen and a notebook to write these websites down, write this phone number down, write the address down. Write everything that I'm going to explain to you right now. It's very important, you know. Equifax, Credit Information Services, Inc. Address, P.O. Box 740241, Atlanta, Georgia 30374. Telephone number 1-888-766-0008. Online website, www.equifax.com. www.equifax.com. That's number one. Then you got number two, TransUnion LLC Consumer Disclosure Center. Address, P.O. Box 1000, Chester, Pennsylvania, 19022. Telephone 1-800-888-4213. Website www.tuc.com. Third one, Experian National Consumer Assistance Center. Address P.O. Box 2002 Allen, Texas 75013. Telephone number 1-888-397-3742. Website www.experian.com so there you have it guys now what I want you to do is watch this video What are credit reporting agencies? Basically what I explained to you just earlier, the addresses that I gave you of those three credit report bureaus is also called agencies, okay guys? So now, credit reporting agencies have been around for over a hundred years in some form or another, roughly 11,000 creditors report information to them every month having worked for equifax for many years john which he's my mentor the one that showed me how to repair my credit gives you an insider look into what credit reporting agencies do and how they work all right guys here's the video
John Alzheimer is America's most recognized credit expert with 30 years of experience in the credit industry, having worked for both FICO and Equifax. He's the go-to authority for answers to credit questions. Here to answer your credit questions, Credit Versio presents John Alzheimer. Hello, my name is John Alzheimer. I'm a consumer credit expert. I've been in the credit industry since late 1991. I've spent time at both Equifax, one of the credit reporting agencies, and FICO, the company that is widely regarded as inventing the credit score. Uh, today's topic, I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking to you about credit reporting agencies. And we're going to talk about what they are, what they do, and where their information comes from. So I think most people generally recognize that a credit reporting agency is a company that maintains information about your um, relationships with lenders and other companies and then compiles that information into what's generally referred to as a credit report. The credit reporting agencies in the United States, the generally recognized reporting agencies are, of course, Equifax, which is based in Atlanta, Experian, which is the U.S. headquarters, is based in Southern California, and TransUnion, which is based in Chicago. There are certainly more than just three credit reporting agencies in the U.S. However, most of the attention goes to what is generally referred to as the big three, Equifax, TU, and Experian. Collectively, those three companies maintain information on over 600 million consumers. So each of them has a little bit over 200 million uh, files in their system for consumers who live in the United States. They do not share information, meaning that they are not sharing one consistent database of credit file information. They are competitors, so think Pepsi and Coke, Chevrolet and Ford. They're in the same business, but they don't share information unless they're forced to by some sort of a federal or state statute. The credit reporting agencies have been around in one form or another since the late 1800s. Equifax, for example, has been in business uh, since the late 1800s in, in one form or another. So credit reporting agencies are certainly nothing new. They're not. I'm going to stop there. So now you know how old are the credit agencies since the 1800 guys and we in 2021 and we still got stuff messed up in our credit. Why? Because we don't check it every day. We don't check it at least once a month. We don't check it at least three times a month. We don't check it at least six, six, six months or a year. Some people don't even check it at all. Since the 1800 this FICO system haven't changed, guys. Don't you think it's time for it to change? Don't you think it's time for it to be in our favor, not their favor? So the more that we start repairing the credit, repairing our credit, we're going to be more aware of how to control our credit. And if the creditors see that, they're going to have a different mindset on us. They're going to be saying, Man, these guys, these people are starting to learn how to repair their credit. We're going to have to be more transparent with them and put the right information inside their credit view, in the, the credit agencies, the right things, not the wrong things. So, you see, that's why we have to repair our credit. And what he's just, right there, he's in the video, he's going to be explaining to you what I said. Since the 1800, guys, come on. We in 2021, 1800, 1800 years ago. That's that's a long time, guys, with the same system. This system got to change, and it has to be in our favor. And the only way for, for to do it in our favor is we have to pay attention to what he teaches, you know, you know, and what I can teach you, you know. And, uh, and if you learn what I learned, now you're going to, be more aware of your credit and as people start learning now these these uh credit bureaus and credit agencies are going to be panicking because we we know more we're more educated on credit so continue to listen to the video unique in that respect um, they have been around for a very very long time uh, and have been commonly used by lenders and other companies to assess the risk of doing business with certain consumers when they make some sort of an application for credit 
or some other service. Credit reporting agencies, <clears throat> to use a, an analogy, um, are kind of like warehouses. No one has a loan with Equifax. Nobody has a credit card with Experian. And nobody has a student loan with TransUnion. That's not what, they, what those companies do. However, they certainly contain information about your relationships with those types of lenders. The information is not collected, if you will, by the credit reporting agency. They don't go out and get information from a bank or get information from a credit card issuer or get information from a debt collector. The information is voluntarily sent to them or furnished is the technical term by the banks and the credit unions and the card issuers and the debt collectors. There are over 11,000 companies in this country that send information to the credit reporting agencies voluntarily That's my group on a monthly website, basis, guys. usually once Join every statement cycle, which is usually once every 30 days. <clears throat> so your credit reports go through an entire series of updates, usually um, over a 30-day period, so monthly. Uh, your credit reports can certainly change over time. There is no guarantee that the credit report that you have today is going to look like the credit report that you're going to have tomorrow or the credit report that you had yesterday. Consumers can certainly request copies of their credit reports. You have pretty aggressive rights under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, and um, in many states you have state laws that also provide uh, the right for you to obtain copies of credit reports. Having said that, See, we, we have the rights, and what happens is we don't leverage those rights, you know? We have the rights to check our credit reports for free, guys. For those who don't know, we do have the rights. Every year we could check our credit scores for free, you know? But the software, the credit versus software, you could check your credit score every single month. Actually, you could check it every day if you want, you know? And you could be checking everything that changes on your credit every 45 days guys and and seriously the software is in the auto official intelligence software it's a new technology guys that the software is free imagine you you know buying a credit repair software you know how much it's gonna cost i checked already it costs about three to five thousand dollars you know, so I suggest you get the credit versus software for free before it starts getting more, more in demand and they're going to charge for it, guys. Please get the software for free. You know, what do you got to lose? When you get the software, John is going to be showing you videos on how to repay your credit you know simple little tips on how to repay your credit faster and also me you know so get the software guys get the credit repair software get credit versio and when you get it don't forget to give me a call you know at 203-850-5931 or at 203-805-7755 and let me know you got it and set up for you. I can set up an appointment with you to show you how it really works. All right, guys, let me continue the video. We're in 2021. Getting a credit report today is easier now than it has ever been. Uh, there is absolutely no cost, so that shouldn't be a barrier to you pulling your credit reports. You can get your credit reports from annualcreditreport.com for free every week if you choose to do, th do so, at least right now, that's the, uh, the current volume that, that consumers can claim um, weekly. Certainly, you can go directly to the credit bureaus and buy products and services from them as a consumer. However, if you are going to be buying a credit report, you should at least be cognizant that there are some free alternatives uh, that are out there for you if, you, if you'd rather not um, spend the money. Credit reporting agencies um, have clients, meaning customers, and those customers aren't necessarily me and you as consumers, okay? Certainly they'll sell stuff to us. They all have personal solutions divisions where the, the job of that particular division is to sell stuff to consumers. However, most of the revenue generated by a credit reporting agency is coming from 
large companies or mid or small types of lenders that are buying information from them about you. And so when you apply for credit, you're going to likely fill out some sort of an application. You may or may not sign something that's not a requirement. And you are giving a lender what's referred to as permissible purpose, which is actually a phrase out of the Fair Credit Reporting Act. When a lender has permissible purpose, they can go to the credit reporting agencies, and the credit reporting agencies are allowed to give them a copy of your credit report, which is compiled from information that is in their credit file system. When they provide them this information, they post on the credit report a credit inquiry, and that's simply just a record that your credit report has been accessed on some date by some organization. And then when the lender pulls the credit report, they're generally going to feed that information into an application processing system, and a decision, should, a decision is going to be made about your application for credit. If your credit is denied, then you certainly have a right to see the credit report from the credit reporting agency that issued it to the lender. You also have the right to see the credit score that was used by the lender if the lender did, in fact, use a credit score. So as far as credit reporting agencies go, um, you cannot ask them or order them to not maintain a credit report for you. You don't have that right. So none of us can contact Equifax and say, I don't want to be in your system. Please delete my credit report. Or TransUnion, I don't want to be in your system. Please delete my credit report. You don't have that right as a consumer. So you're, if you have any sort of a relationship with lenders or credit card issuers or the such, then you're going to have a credit report whether you want to or not. And so it's actually a better idea, in my mind anyways, to um, work to manage your credit properly so that, that your credit report says good things about you. And if your credit reports say good thing about you, then you're going to be considered low risk. Lenders are going to essentially throw money at you at very aggressive terms, um, low interest rates, high credit limits, things like that. And, and you're generally going to be able to function very efficiently um, and in a cost-effective way in the consumer credit environment. If you miss payments on obligations, then your lenders are absolutely allowed to send that type of information to the credit reporting agencies, and the credit reporting agencies are allowed legally to put that stuff on your credit reports the next time your credit report is accessed. Um, there are some limitations, obviously. That stuff can't stay on your credit reports indefinitely. Um, negative information does have to be purged eventually, but it's a really long time. It's generally seven years for most derogatory entries, but obviously there are some exceptions to, to that rule. So if you miss a payment today or you go into a default on a loan today, then for the next seven years, any company that pulls your credit report is going to see that and is likely going to hold that against you um, in, in, in the form of a higher interest rate or a lower, a lower credit limit or more restrictive terms um, on, on the account management of, of your particular loan. And it can cause your insurance premiums to go up. So there's generally, there's generally nothing good about having a negative information on a credit report. So again, if you've never seen your credit report, I would highly, highly suggest that you get into the habit of accessing your credit report from time to time so you can see what information is present. Credit reports can contain errors. Um, they're not widespread, as some would have you believe. There's, credit reports are, are actually very, very accurate. If you look at any of the reputable studies that have been performed over time, the overwhelming majority of credit reports are, are, are very accurate. Uh, however, mistakes can happen. They, they manage an immense amount of information, so it's incumbent upon you to take advantage of your rights and pull your credit reports from time to time just to make sure that the information is correct. And you certainly have the right to challenge information with which you disagree. So that's it from my end. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll do my best to address them in, in another one of these videos or in, some, in one of my writings. Um, have a great rest of your day, and we'll talk again soon. Thanks a lot. Well, there you have it, guys. What are credit reporting agencies? Another thing that I have learned that he has taught me is uh, they are different ways that you can get inquiries out of your credit report, you know, when you apply for credit cards, you know, you know, like me, uh, when I first fixed my credit, you know, uh, it was 550 and it went up to seven 700 I think it was. I have five, six credit cards by that time. And now I have 12, you know. So in other words, as my credit was going up, every time my credit went up, 
I started to apply for a credit card. So every 45 days, I started to apply for one credit card, then the other 45 days, another credit card, you know, and so on and so on and so on. And eventually, I ended up with 12 credit cards, all approved, you know, and I still continue to apply for credit cards. The only thing I learned how to monitor my credit cards and also how to control you know my credit cards in other words not overspend on them you know i usually use my credit cards on things that i know that i'm gonna pay again like uh like a netflix like your cable bill like your car payment like your your light bill you know mostly household bills and then what i do i pay them on the statement date that way my credit utilization you know gets on the seven percent to under thirty percent you know and that's how you start increasing your credit score that's a tip guys pay attention to that tip write it down or something uh and basically you know he goes deeper he goes deeper when you get the credit repair software for free you can see all his videos and all his training inside uh, the credit repair software that's free so in other words as soon as you put your email your password they send you an email back uh, to set you up in the same day uh, it takes like around 10 minutes you know to get all that set up and then you can start taking the little courses that he has that he's going to show you before you start the process to repair your credit that's how i started and that's how i you know present the software to my clients to my new clients so there you have it guys what credit reporting agencies are what they're all about if you have any questions on this topic you know my number 203-850-5931 Send me a message there. Make sure you put your name and your email and a brief message on the questions that you have. And I will get back to you ASAP. All right. So now you may want so now you may want to note the information whenever most of your financial information is kept so that you can easily contact the bureaus whenever you need to. Your local yellow pages should also have the contact information of these credit agencies as well. So when I started the video, you know, you saw the addresses, you saw the website. All you have to do is just go there, you know. Almost at the end of the book, all the information that I just explained to you is there by links, you know, by links. You see, like this right here, if it's blue, those are links. You know, if it's pictures, which are, as I'm going down and reading the book for you guys, those are links. The only catch is you have to get my ebook you know which is very affordable you know but it has a lot of resources to repay your credit and also more things you know that has to do with financial literacy so there you have it guys uh that's lesson three and tomorrow i will continue lesson number four you know lesson three lesson number four tip number three we're gonna be, be discussing on the next lesson which is lesson number four tip number three is to develop an action plan for dealing with your credit score All right guys so there you have it you have a great day if you have any questions on that topic uh just leave a comment on the bottom when you finish watching this video on my live stream uh tv platform okay guys
Please share the videos with everybody that you know. When you watch these these videos, share it with other people. Make sure you have like three people watching it with you. All right, guys. You have a great day.